Some of the unsung heroes of Australia's humble beginnings were the many axemen who ventured into the unforgiving bush, turning trees into beams, posts and shingles that built the cities and towns of this fledgling nation. What we really have to appreciate is this was all done not by machine, but by human strength, willpower and the mighty axe. A lot's happened in the timber industry since then. Finely machined timbers have replaced those roughly hewn logs and while things have altered, some things have remained the same. We still have axes, log splitters and other implements that have just been tweaked and improved with technology. Hands up, anyone who's used an old wooden handled splitting axe. Swung, missed, hit the handle on the block and broken the head clean off. Come on, be honest. Yeah, I thought so. How about this beauty? It's a state-of-the-art splitting axe made of a virtually unbreakable compound called Fibercon. Weighing under three kilograms, you can swing this without straining every muscle in your body. The shock absorbent, comfortable moulded handle incorporates the bevelled convex cutting head, ensuring it won't fall off. Anyone who enjoys the warmth of a wood fire knows that wood burns twice. Once when you cut it, and once when you light it. Now, wood stored over summer has had a chance to dry out, and as it dries out, the grains have opened up and fissures appear. Aim for those fissures, and the wood splits easily. If you're out splitting many logs, you are constantly bending to pick up the next one, and over and over and over again. That's where a sappy comes in very handy. Looking a little like an ice pick, they are great at carrying and lifting both large and small logs. Instead of putting yourself in a potentially disc herniating position, lifting a 40 kilogram plus log, a sappy will keep your back straight and the log on the chopping block. Now the wood expert range have two models of sappies, a long handle and a short handle. And the long handle's great at picking up all that cut timber. They're comfortable, lightweight, and importantly, so easy to use. Another wood implement I've found so handy around the yard is the brush hook. I've used it to trim down limbs into manageable pieces for the green waste bin. It does a great job of trimming off low tree branches and also slicing through weeds and undergrowth. These wood expert products have just been launched in Europe, so keep an eye out for them on our shores shortly. Australia has a long tradition of woodcutting dating back to the first settlers. In fact, woodcutting competitions have been run in Australia since 1873 and continue to do so to this day. I've had the great privilege of calling the woodcutting at the Royal Adelaide Show for the last five years and the next time you do go to the woodcutting, take some time and reflect on those axemen that helped build this nation.